so if I do not symmetrize those bones and uh, they will uh, start to affect the model from both sides which is really annoying so we'll have to fix that let's just symmetrize those ones and then of course they don't have the vertex groups symmetrized yet but that will be done oh I still have the I'll delete that in a minute so to fix that so you see they they have no vertex groups for them these are all the vertex groups because I forget to delete I've just deleted the, the helper bones the original ones but not the, their respective vertex groups so what I do is just because this is mirrored I just click like if I were to brush anyhow and this automatically uh, creates the symmetric vertex groups and uh, now for the names I, I'll fix that I'll see you later okay so I've reorganized many things in, in this uh, project so now um, let's go directly to the bone constraints right so I select the target bone the owner bone of the bone constraint and then I will use this operator constraint add with target which is shift control C and then the transformation so it already gets the type bone target with the armature object target so now let me do another operator which this active bone which already has the bone constraint and then copy constraint to selected bones so now every bone here has the the bone constraint the transformation bone constraint and now I use press alt so that I can make a massive change here for all the bones right this saves time and now of course let's open those those sub panels this will this will allow us to to continue yes yeah, so let's take this and the source for the front band and back band will be of course as we already know the x axis so we change here alt to x and so let's check that's right that's right and this we change to the side band we change to z because it's the side this rotation right bone will rotate sideways on the Z axis. So now let's start with um, the this uh, rotation. Oh yes, we need to make the rotation here. We are, they are targeting the rotation of the thigh bone, except that this one will be minimum zero, maximum one hundred eighty degrees. This will be the opposite, negative. 180 degrees for the minimum minimum and zero so equal as him as this one and this the sideways a bit different maybe we get it could be zero but then why not a little change on the mesh when the leg uh, bends inward right so let's do this minimum negative 45 and here maybe we try something different positive 100 80 degrees <laughs> that will not happen probably but just making a bit of difference here and now we come to the trickiest part I think which is first we'll need to insert uh, keyframes to make this rig easier because we'll have to see changes in time this is very important trick so I'll auto king on I'll set this on let's just make some keyframing here just uh, this pole bone if it helps well let's do it like that next no what I'm doing here and here that should be good enough why not just some animation fanciness and so okay then we now can go not reset because this can confuse the 
I'm not experienced enough in animation to to know if I should do that then let's do this and then yes and also because it is because it is I key uh, animation here it would not be very smooth circular ballistic motion if I just uh, reset everything uh, this now is getting too far we need more space then here we are almost finishing this but there is still the requirement of the side bending shouldn't forget that they have more space more frames right then here we can get this now too far let's get this here yeah animating in 3d it's cool right i am a former 2d animator and uh 3D animator takes a lot of time, but it's kind of very cool that you can pose everything uh, like uh, if the character is cool enough, right? <laughs> okay, so I think this. Yeah, I don't need to be very precise on those things. That's, and then to finish off, let's just do something like that, right? Yeah, this will be the last keyframe. Okay, now let's see if that's just acceptable. Yes, yes, this is this is overall acceptable. Okay, let's turn Auto King off otherwise this could cause serious problems let's start adding the deformations of those bones okay so for example here when the legs start to move up then we start to get some issues here so this bone should go up and like here right a little and this is why I've used another bone here because you see there's too much uh, interpenetration going on then so this is why I need another bone here helper bone to make this smooth out but in this case I'll not bother I, uh, you already know what it looks like so and why do we need it and maybe we need it because of this model but actually yes this interpretation is the danger zone right so it's uh, very complicated to get that thing good I think it would require more uh, helper bones here at least one so what we need let me reset uh, on this right yes so this means that I need here to get this up so it's not about minimum it's maximum because I must get the no uh, actually sorry the Y is negative so it go it needs to go there minimum will grow well actually diminish and the Z axis for, for this bone needs to go up yeah something like that right and so let's play this yeah so you see this is a problem it's too much here I need to do us to readjust let's go back here let's see now yes the problem is also here what is this Z axis no I was it's this one is the Y axis that was wrong okay let's see again no okay 
So you see this this thing got good, but there are this concavity is really ugly, right? Unnatural. So um, just a more smoothing out from another bone will fix. Or we could exactly we could try to achieve this through wave painting, but it's not guaranteed because those the ratio it's too hard to control from from this input so we need something like even if I yeah dynamic rigging maybe all in motion right so and it's very bad idea probably to to paint on the leg just a slightly sometimes let's see yeah yeah this is not too bad actually okay so then it stops moving that's good then let's see I should use really another panel here just to to make it multiple views might be better to spot issues yeah th this is not too bad actually for a single helper bone this that, this is good result and now for the back bend bone so we need uh, the maximum that I've got here in this keyframe animation is this more or less here so this would require me to take this and place somewhere like here this means a positive Y and a positive Z uh, components so this means that uh, here I should take positive Y the max and positive Z here something like this I think I've got a better result on the on the other probably because of wave painting maybe if I try to adjust just make just some some small changes on wave painting here I could get some improved results but this is not a wave painting tutorial anyways it's just some fundamental part on this kind of rig but it's um, but it's we're not gonna spend a lot of time on, on it it's likely much better results could be achieved uh, only through better wave painting here but maybe not that much right because as we know uh, wave painting it limit it's limited by the algorithm anyways so it's sometimes is more about the other inputs like helper bones and whatever corrective shape keys so yes maybe not very not that good but let's see now yes now this got a bit uh, exaggerated in here let's see if I can just uh, reduce the um, yes this is too much I think this is better let's come back here yes this part is a bit problematic now for the side band so this is the more or less the maximum side bending that I have here on this keyframe animation at least so this means that this bone should go up so Z positive Z and positive X because here is the X axis for that bone okay let's reset position and of course you see that this deformation is very bad had something to do like in the leg getting that pattern that the leg gets into the torso from the side now so this could be maybe fixed in part with wave painting but then remember that I didn't get for some strange reason here the too much problem in in this sense for the front bend bone but now I'm having that to the side this is strange so we'll try to fix it 